And with every single release, the folks at Revolution are always making tools better. And today, we're going to take a look at the brand new iClone 8.5, which now brings an entire new mode of interaction alongside a brand new accessory system, as they've built on the core features of Motion Direct and the Crowd Simulation system. And just like with any release from the folks at Revolution, iClone 8.5 continues the history of feature-rich updates. And with over 5 years of research and development, this update release, which is totally free for existing users, brings realistic character interaction and simulation to iClone by combining automated animation and character creation alongside assets as it also extends the software's crowd simulation and animation toolsets. And this update can basically be sectioned into two, which include the world interaction and smart accessories. And for world interaction, this easily can be described as environment awareness as both crowds and single characters can now interact with props within a scene, giving actions and interactivity a whole new definition as this is strongly powered by Motion Direct as it brings a new level of character direction, prop manipulation and behavior to animators. And for smart accessories, this enhances the process of attaching and animating accessories for 3D characters, as it features automated attachments to character body parts with real-time adjustments ensuring precise alignment and movement. iClone 8.5 offers 5 Motion Direct templates in regards to world interaction for customizing interactive props, and this includes actionable for triggering predefined interactions, state switch which transforms an actor's animation state from one state to another, bidirectional which focuses on scenarios as it requires two-point mobility for proper execution, portable which supports the movement of items from one placement point to another making planning a series of actions more suitable across smart accessories. And finally, Dolly. This template allows characters and actors to manipulate wheeled transport which can range from carts, trolleys or other similar props. This new update also comes with an intuitive radio dial, and this can be used for both props and actors slash characters to access multi-level commands, and this can allow artists to easily access various interactive options and use this to direct how they like the character to behave or even manipulate the prop itself. iClone 8.5 also features an additional action list for motion queuing and sequencing which can simultaneously link multiple motions and extend action sequences for both individual characters and crowds. And one of the cool things that is also available with this new release is the fact that you can now use placeholders to block out your sequences in terms of props and also how you like props to behave in a scene. And once you're ready, you can replace the placeholders with a proper hero or final model. There's also the behavioral refinement, and this allows characters to have varying modes to approach a particular model or a particular prop. So, from the entrance refinement, which prepares the character to look at a specific prop, down to the adjustable hand reach for a closer interaction with a model, how characters behave to a particular model can now be refined to get the exact interaction that is required. And speaking about interacting with props, object animations, which has been powered by various animation triggers, are now available with iClone 8.5. And this includes transforming and morphing object states from one state point to another. This can be used to open doors, make object deform, and you can even push the boundaries of what you can do with this. As with object animation, you can also trigger visibility of certain objects. Alongside this, materials and textures can also be manipulated by simply using object animation triggers, as you can manipulate the UV textures of a particular object, material settings, video settings, and of course, if you like to manipulate how the light actually performs in a scene, you can totally use this to control all of that, making it easier for interaction to be more lifelike when working with iClone 8.5. And for crowd simulation, world interaction also compensates for crowd. As crowds breathe more life into our scenes, the modes and varying behavioral options expands the ever-growing possibilities of crowd systems in iClone, with options of probability for a given action, which can be based off age or setting random parameters, down to the modes that supports following a specific object or subject. And for smart accessories, which is now available in iClone 8.5, every smart accessory adopts the character motion, and this integrates seamlessly with iClone's Motion Plus to pair animations with props like weapons or costumes. And this also supports physical simulation for dynamic effects like collision and fabric movement. With easy customization of materials and models, this simply streamlines the workflow for creating interactive and realistic scenes. And with smart accessories, anyone can now create any smart asset that they want and place them onto any character. And this comes with a couple of controls which includes the visibility control and hand key for keyframing specific action points and also some parameters to drive physics. 
Additionally, users can mix multiple motions, just like we've seen in various tools, but in this case for dynamic blending. And for crowds, assets can easily be automatically spawned or assigned to specific groups, making it more easier to create varying crowds and also making matching crowds with similar group focus. And all of these can be live linked to Unreal Engine, rendered or exported to Maya, Blender, Omniverse, 3D Studio Max and more. And with iClone 8.5, these and more are now available to creators and artists as this free update continues to provide more useful and polished tools for creators to bring their ideas to life. And if you'd like to get more of iClone 8.5, you might want to explore the expansion packs which offers a great deal of assets and tools. And if you're trying to get started with character creation, then you might want to consider taking a look at Character Creator, which is Revolution's professional character creator tool for easily creating different kinds of characters, as this comes with tons of tool sets and also plugins to allow you to connect to multiple DCC apps. And for animation, iClone 8.5 now delivers more than ever an amazing animation set of tools for both crowd simulation, motion capture cleanup, and single character animation. And for those looking for a free biped rigging tool, then AccuRig is the tool for you, as this free rigging tool offers both full body and hand accurate rigging tools for you to easily rig your characters. And for those looking for free motions, or possibly you're looking for a set of free characters that you can work with, then you might want to consider taking a look at Actor Core, or possibly take a look at the free character sets that folks at Revolution have released totally for free for artists to download and start creating with. So, this is it. For those who like to take a look at all of these, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. iClone 8.5 is now available with tons of cool stuff, and for those who are thinking about creating amazing, true to life characters, then iClone 8.5 is definitely worth taking a look at. And of course, a huge shout out to the folks at Revolution for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.